What is going on guys? Um, so today we're going to be cleaning the Toyota Supra. It needs a little bit of loving. It's been sat outside for a while and you can see it's just absolutely covered in cobwebs. You might notice I have a little bit of tape there. You can probably see it is actually starting to bubble um, with rust in one or two places which is annoying. Um, so unfortunately it's got a bit of sort of special paint on it. It's almost like a, it's, it's not quite midnight purple, but it's got a color flip to it. So I'm not gonna be able to perfectly paint match the car, um, but we're definitely, now we're heading into the winter months, gonna need to get this cleaned, get it under a car cover, and I'm gonna have to find some sort of purple paint to sort of match up to the car. Um, but yeah, let's get this thing cleaned. So if any of you are in the same situation as myself, you'll probably notice around the back, I don't possess any type of hose pipe. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to just sort of clean the car using a bucket. So if you're able to, if you use yourself two buckets, um, you're gonna save yourself a hell of a lot of time in cleaning your car, especially when you don't have a hose or anything. So in one bucket, you can keep sort of clean water, the other bucket you can put sort of uh, your shampoo and everything into it and it's just going to make life a hell of a lot easier cleaning the car um, and then after that you obviously just need one more bucket of clean water to just give everything a rinse off. Now because we don't have a hose pipe to sort of spray everything off you're going to want to be very careful when you're first rinsing the car off because you're essentially going to be pushing dirt into the paint if you push too hard so you just want to very lightly sort of wipe over the car. We've just the rinse off this thing's looking 10 times better um, with the paint the way that it is it's being clean makes such a difference so next steps just to get the shampoo on it and then we can start rinsing it down now we've got the shampoo all on it's just a case of rinsing this off annoyingly I'm starting to find more and more little rust spots I don't know if it'll pick it up <clears throat> but it just looks like water at first but then you've got a small bit of rust there and we're starting to get a bit of rust on the wheel arches so I'm gonna have to do something to sort of stop that spreading but it looks like we're gonna have to move painting this car up on our list of things to do now the one trick that I have for stopping getting streaks once you've cleaned your car is to go panel by panel rinsing and then drying each individual panel and that way you'll minimise the amount of streaks that you get in the paint. guys that's the car all rinsed off and look how much better that looks so much cleaner it's really set the paint off now unfortunately on cleaning this car I found so much of the beginnings of rust um, I think I'm probably gonna have to do a bit of a temporary paint job on this which is a shame because I love love this purple um, but yeah I'm gonna have to probably do a bit of spray painting throughout the winter um, just to save this thing from turning into a total rust bucket because that is an absolute killer for cars like this um, just with the few spots that I've found on it um, but yeah, now we're going to carry on with the rest of the car now we're all done given the outside I see you may be wondering why I've left the wheels um, stick around until the end of the video and you might see why but now it's time to do the inside. So I may have neglected the interior a little bit. It needs a good bit of cleaning out. There's all sorts of crap inside this car. Um, as you can see, 
Now the leather's not in the best of shapes, um, it's even got a little bit sort of mouldy in the back um, so that's definitely going to be needing a clean first then we can get this car all sort of hoovered up and cleaned up inside. So I've actually got this awesome leather cleaner from Auto Glim, which I'm going to be using to scrub off the leather. This stuff does absolute wonders for it but it will strip the leather of all of its oils so you'll, you'll want to make sure that you want to condition the oil after. Condition the oil? Condition the leather afterwards to make sure it doesn't sort of dehydrate and start to crack. Not that it really matters with this car because it already has. Now, whilst all the leather is drying off, before we condition it and get everything hoovered up, we can go ahead and clean off the glass, clean off the interior plastics. Now, when you're actually cleaning on the interior, you don't want to spray stuff directly into the interior because you'll just spray it all over everything. You're better off just sort of spraying it into your cloth and then you can give everything a good wipe down that way. Guys, now the interior plastics and everything are all right, wiped down. It's just a case of getting out the old Henry and getting it all hoovered up. Now we're all hoovered up, we just got to condition the leather and we're all sorted. You're going to really want to massage the conditioner into the leather and if your leather's as old as mine it'll probably be quite thirsty so it'll probably take quite a lot of conditioner to, to get it back to how it should be. is all clean but I told you there's one more surprise so let's do it now I'm gonna have to hit pause on uh, doing the tie writing because we are slowly running out of light but look how good that looks on the tires we've just got to do the rest of them now because um, that's taken me the best part of half an hour to do so why not hit that subscribe button and find out what the rest of the car ends up looking like once we get that all complete. Um, but otherwise, click up there for another awesome video and we'll see you later.